This video, we going to descript the procedure of soil testing three methods. 1. Water, moisture, content of soil. 2. Particle size distribution, gradation, of soils using sieve analysis. 3. Liquid limit, plastic limit, and plasticity index of soils. 1. Water, moisture, content of soil. The purpose of this test method covers the laboratory determination of the water, moisture, content by mass of soil, rock, and similar materials where the reduction in mass by drying in due to loss of water. For simplicity, the word material shall refer to soil, rock or aggregate whichever is most applicable. Test Specimen a specimen weighing less 200 gram and containing a relatively large gravel practice, it is appropriate not to include the gravel practice in the test specimen. Procedure Determine and record the mass of the clean and dry specimen container and lids. Place the moist test specimen in container and record the mass with moist specimen. Remove the lid, if used and place the container with the moist specimen in the drying oven with temperature is 110 plus or minus 5 OC. Dry a test specimen overnight, about 12 hours to 16 hours, is sufficient. Check for additional loss in mass with additional oven drying over an adequate time period, a minimum time period of 2 hours shall be used. After the specimen has dried to constant mass, Remove the container from the oven and replace the lid if used. Determine the mass of the container and oven dried specimen using the same type balance and record the value. Calculate and determine the water content of the material. 2. Particle size distribution, gradation, of soils using sieve analysis. Soils consist of particles with various shapes and sizes. This test method is used to separate particles into size ranges and to determine quantitatively the mass of particles in each range. This test method is not applicable for following soils. Soils containing fibrous peat that will change in particle size during drying oven, washing or sieving procedure. Preparation The Samples Prepare soil sample to air dry or put into low temperature drying oven not to exceed 60 OC. Select the minimum sample needed then soak with dispersant, sodium hexmetaphosphate with water, for 24 hours, except coarse-grained soils, soak with water. At the end of soaking period, continue washing the specimen, material, on the number 275 micrometer, sieve until the wash water is clear. Place the clean specimen into the container, and then put it into the drying oven with a uniform temperature, 110 plus or minus 5 OC, for 24 hours. Test Procedure Remove specimen from the oven and cool it down for a second, and then record the sample dry mass, gram or kilogram. Pour the dried washed material from its container on to the top of the sieve stack. Put the arrangement of sieve set on mechanical sieve shaker then operates a time period ranging from 10 to 20 minutes. Gather all the specimen that retained in each of the sieve size and then record the specimen mass, gram or kilogram. Determine percentage passing of soil sample on each sieve and report the results. 3. Liquid limit, plastic limit, and plasticity index of soils. These test methods cover the determination of the liquid limit, plastic limit, and the plasticity index of soils. The method for determining the liquid limit is provided as follow, liquid limit method, multipoint method. And the plastic limit test, method for plastic limit, is performed on material prepared for the liquid limit test. Preparation samples for liquid limit. Prepare soil sample to air dry or put into dry oven, not exceeding 60 degrees Celsius, until the soil clods will pulverize readily. Remove soil from the oven and cool it down for a second. 
Separate the material on a 425 micrometer, number 40, sieve, shaking the sieve by hand to assure thorough separation of the finer fraction. Test procedure of liquid limit method if multipoint method. Prepare 150 to 200 gram of material by mixing thoroughly with distilled or demineralized water on the glass plate or mixing dish using the spatula. Thoroughly remix the specimen, soil, in its mixing dish, and, if necessary, adjust its water content until the consistency requires about 25 to 35 drops of the cup of the liquid limit device to close the groove. Using a spatula, Place a portions of the prepared soil in the cup of the liquid limit device at the point where the cup rests on the base, squeeze it down, and spread it into the cup to a depth of about 10 mm at its deepest point, tapering to form an approximately horizontal surface. Record the number of drops, N, required to close the groove. Return the soil remaining in the cup to the dish. Wash and dry the cup and grooving tool and reattach the cup to the carriage in preparation for the next trial. Remix the entire soil specimen in the dish adding distilled water to increase the water content of the soil and decrease the number of drops required to close the groove. Determine the water content of the soil water content specimen from each trial. Calculation for liquid limit. Plot the relationship between the water content and the corresponding numbers of drops, n of the cup on a semi-logarithmic graph with the water content as ordinates on the arithmetical scale, and the number of drops as abscissas on a logarithmic scale. Draw the best straight line through the three or more plotted points. Preparation samples for plastic limit. Select a 20 gram or more portion of soil from the material prepared for the liquid limit test either, after the second mixing before the test, or from the soil remaining after completion of the liquid limit test. Reduce the water content of the soil to a consistency at which it can be rolled without sticking to the hands by spreading or mixing continuously on the glass plate or in the mixing slash storage dish. Test Procedure of Plastic Limit Roll the mass between the palm or fingers and the ground glass plate with just sufficient pressure to roll the mass into a thread of uniform diameter throughout its length. The thread shall be further deformed on each stroke so that its diameter reaches 3.2 mm, taking no more than 2. When the diameter of the thread becomes 3.2 mm, break the thread into several pieces. Squeeze the pieces together, knead between the thumb and first finger of each hand, reform into an ellipsoidal mass, and re-roll. Calculation for plastic limit. Compute the average of the two water contents, trial plastic limits, and round to the nearest whole number. This value is the plastic limit, PL. Repeat the test if the difference between the two trial plastic limits is greater than the acceptable range of two results listed for single operator results. Calculate the plasticity index, PI by liquid limit, plastic limit. Thank you for watching this video and please help to subscribe our channel.